Canada has always been known for its peaceful stance on global affairs, but its recent advancements in naval technology are turning heads worldwide. The country's new next-generation attack submarines are not just an upgrade, they represent a major leap in underwater capabilities. Equipped with state-of-the-art stealth systems and advanced weaponry, these submarines can operate quietly in deep waters, evading the most sophisticated detection methods. Military analysts around the globe have been impressed, noting that Canada is now a serious player in undersea defense, capable of defending its waters and contributing to international security operations with unprecedented efficiency. The design of these submarines emphasizes stealth and durability. Unlike older models, the hulls are built with special acoustic absorbing materials that make sonar detection extremely difficult. Their hydrodynamic structure allows them to move faster underwater with minimal noise, which is critical during tactical missions. Additionally, onboard systems are highly automated, reducing crew workload and allowing longer deployments without fatigue. These submarines are not just for defense, they can gather intelligence, monitor foreign fleets, and support international operations in hostile waters. Experts say this combination of stealth, speed, and automation makes Canada's new subs some of the most advanced in the world today. Point one of the most remarkable features is their propulsion system. Unlike conventional submarines, these vessels use a quiet pump jet propeller that drastically reduces acoustic signatures, making them almost invisible to enemy sonar. They are powered by cutting-edge nuclear or hybrid systems, allowing them to stay submerged for weeks at a time without surfacing. This endurance is critical for strategic patrols and surveillance missions. Analysts highlight that the long-range capability and near-invisibility of these subs give Canada a significant advantage, enabling it to operate alongside allies or independently in sensitive regions without detection, which has surprised many naval observers worldwide. Canada has also invested heavily in weapon systems for these submarines. They are armed with advanced torpedoes capable of tracking fast-moving targets and precision-guided missiles that can hit distant threats with incredible accuracy. Beyond offense, they carry sophisticated countermeasure systems to avoid enemy attacks, including decoys and electronic warfare equipment. These capabilities make them formidable in both defensive and offensive operations. Military strategists emphasize that such versatility means Canada can contribute meaningfully to NATO missions or protect its own waters, ensuring that the country's sovereignty is reinforced while maintaining a strong deterrent posture. The submarine's sonar and sensor arrays are another breakthrough. They include multi-frequency sonar capable of detecting small objects at great distances, along with advanced periscopes and imaging systems that operate without revealing the vessel's position. These subs can track enemy ships, detect underwater mines, and even gather intelligence on maritime activities with unparalleled precision. Combined with AI-assisted analytics, crews can process vast amounts of information quickly, making informed decisions during missions. Experts argue that this technological leap places Canada's naval intelligence capabilities on par with major powers, surprising many who previously underestimated the country's maritime strategy construction of these next-gen submarines has also embraced modern modular techniques. This means upgrades can be implemented without major overhauls, keeping the vessels at peak performance for decades. Canada's shipyards have integrated advanced robotics and automation during assembly, ensuring precision and reducing human error. By modernizing the construction process, the Navy can maintain a fleet that evolves alongside technological advancements, rather than becoming outdated within a few years. This forward-thinking approach has impressed global naval engineers and demonstrates that Canada is investing not just in today's capabilities but also in sustainable long-term defense readiness, crew training is equally revolutionary. Submarine personnel undergo rigorous simulations that replicate real-world combat scenarios, ensuring they are prepared for any eventuality. AI-driven systems on board assist crews with navigation, threat analysis, and decision-making, allowing smaller teams to operate the submarine efficiently. The combination of human expertise and technological support maximizes operational performance. Observers note that Canada is not just producing advanced vessels, 
it is creating highly skilled crews capable of leveraging every feature to its full potential. This synergy of man and machine makes these submarines a serious contender in modern naval warfare, environmental considerations were also a key focus. The new submarines are designed with reduced emissions and noise pollution to minimize impact on marine ecosystems. Advanced waste management systems on board prevent contamination, reflecting Canada's commitment to sustainable defense practices. This approach sets them apart from other military powers that prioritize performance over ecological responsibility. Analysts highlight that integrating environmental consciousness into advanced military technology is a unique selling point, enhancing Canada's image globally while demonstrating that national security and environmental protection can coexist in high-tech defense programs. Strategically, these submarines enhance Canada's Arctic presence. The melting ice and increased geopolitical activity in the region have made undersea capabilities crucial. The new fleet can operate in extreme cold, under ice, and in shallow waters, allowing Canada to monitor shipping routes, protect natural resources, and assert sovereignty effectively. Experts suggest this Arctic capability is one of the reasons global observers were shocked Canada is not just keeping pace with military innovation but is strategically positioning itself in a region of growing international importance. International collaborations have also played a role. Canada has worked with allied nations on technology transfer, joint exercises, and intelligence sharing to enhance submarine performance. These partnerships have allowed Canadian engineers to incorporate proven innovations from other navies, creating a hybrid system optimized for both national and allied operations. The result is a fleet that is technologically sophisticated and operationally flexible. Military analysts argue that this combination of domestic innovation and international collaboration demonstrates that Canada's approach to defense is both pragmatic and visionary, the global reaction has been remarkable. Naval experts from the United States, Europe, and Asia have praised the fleet for its stealth, endurance, and versatility. Some analysts admit they underestimated Canada's ability to develop cutting-edge submarines, making the revelation surprising. International media coverage highlights both the technological sophistication and the strategic implications of these vessels. Many defense commentators believe that Canada's fleet could influence regional security dynamics, forcing other nations to reconsider undersea defense strategies. This level of global attention underscores why the world is shocked by Canada's new capabilities. Economically, the program has boosted Canada's shipbuilding and defense sectors. Thousands of jobs were created, and investments in advanced materials, robotics, and electronics have strengthened industrial expertise. This dual benefit, enhancing national security while supporting domestic innovation, is a rare achievement. Defense economists note that programs like this can have ripple effects across multiple industries, fostering long-term growth and positioning Canada as a hub for high-tech maritime manufacturing. The financial and technological impact of these submarines extends far beyond the Navy itself, critics sometimes question whether Canada needs such advanced submarines, given its peaceful history. However, proponents argue that global uncertainties, technological advancements, and the Arctic's growing strategic importance justify the investment. By maintaining a capable and modern fleet, Canada ensures preparedness without aggressive posturing. This balance between defense and diplomacy is a hallmark of Canadian military strategy, showing that strength and responsibility can coexist. The world surprise reflects not just technological achievement but also the foresight and strategic thinking behind these submarines. In conclusion, Canada's next gen attack submarines are a milestone in modern naval technology. They combine stealth, endurance, advanced weaponry, and ecological responsibility all while supporting highly skilled crews. The world's reaction, from shock to admiration, underscores how innovative and capable these vessels truly are. Canada has proven that even nations known for peaceful policies can make strategic investments that reshape global perceptions. These submarines are not just machines, they represent a vision of defense, innovation, and national pride, 
ensuring that Canada's presence beneath the waves will be felt and respected for decades to come.